What is up everybody? I'm back with another lure painting video. So today we're gonna paint this one right here. So if you thought our last painting video was simple, this one I think is gonna be even more simple. It's gonna be super easy, but I think it's gonna be a very effective color. So stick with me and let's get it done. All right, we've got our lure right here. So the first thing we're gonna start with is white and we're gonna cover up the bottom. Now that we've got that covered up, we're gonna put a little bit of pearl white and silver on it. That should make it pop a little more. All right, so now we got that all pearled up on the bottom. So now I'm gonna lay on some gold on the top and then that will just be the under part of where the scales are gonna go. Probably makes no sense, but it'll make sense. Keep watching. All right, so the next step, we're gonna wrap this mesh around it and then spray brown on the top and just a little bit on the side, but not too far down. And then after that, we're gonna darken up the top, put some orange on the belly, and then I think we are gonna be done. Maybe add a little couple other things, but should be about it. So I've got this mesh that I got just from like an old hamper or something, I think is what it was. And then I've got these little clips that I'm gonna clip to keep in place. But the main thing is that you don't wanna be too rough with it because you can end up scratching the paint off. So that's kind of the goal is to just be careful with it but still get it clipped on well enough that it's not gonna move around. So another thing you want to make sure of is that you want to make sure the paint is dry before you take off whatever covering you're using and that's just to prevent any sort of smearing or whatever from the paint. Now we get a reveal, let's see if we screwed it up. I think that looks pretty good, so now a brown and just take a brown and just get a little layer on the top.
right, thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. <sighs> Sadly enough, for some reason the camera did not capture the rest of the process that I used for making this lure, but thankfully it only didn't capture a couple of steps. So one of the things that I did is if you can see, there's a bunch of speckling on the back and a little bit on the sides, but basically I just used the method of the toothbrush and paint and just splattered it on there. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, head over to my other video of me painting one of these wood lures of a largemouth bass pattern. And you will see that was the main technique that I used was splatter painting. So mainly the two steps that it didn't show was me splattering the paint on the back and then darkening it up with some black paint. And then of course I added the eyes and then put on a clear coat. I'm sorry it did not catch that part, but I think it's simple enough to where you guys can figure it out. Anyways, I love the way this lure turned out. I'm definitely gonna be painting more of these. I really like painting the patterns where you can still see the grain of the wood on them. I think that's really unique and cool. If you guys actually wanna check this lure out and buy it, head over to my Etsy, but you gotta hurry up because it will not last long. But thankfully I should have other lures up there. So if it's not on there, there's plenty of other awesome ones on there. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.